That's her. Nicole Flynn? The one I saw flirting with Hudson at Catalyst last week. You think she killed him? Any reason she might have? I just made her out for a wannabe. Meaning? Like a loser. But I've seen this jealousy thing happen with people who try to get in with us. Get in with who? Club kids and the wealthy. It's like she's cute but not hot, so a guy with a few drinks and then will sleep with her. What? Here. Nicole Flynn's Prince Matt. She was the girl on the bus. Thank you. What the hell is this about? Sir, please what step back. What did she back. do? She's back, a please. student, works two jobs to put herself through school. What could she have done? Nicole Flynn, you're under arrest for the murder of Hudson Moore. You have the right to remain I'm silent. Sorry. <laughs> Listen, Nicole, don't say Anything another word. Anything you say like, to you be used against you. I know that, bro. I'm back! I'm back! I'm back! Now and during any future questioning, if you cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. Docket number 0241573, People v. Nicole Flynn, charges murder in the second degree. How does the defendant plead? Not guilty. Bail? People request $1 million. Your Honor, my client was born and raised in New York is a junior at Queens College, works part-time at New York Savings and Loan, lives with her parents. I get it, Mr. Sugarman. She's not a flight risk. Anything else? Yes, she's innocent. You don't say. Bail is set at 500,000. We need to talk about this one, Connie. We're always willing to listen, you know that. We were in Panama City on spring break partying, having fun, until Chris Drake showed up and convinced me to take my clothes off and do some very stupid things. Like what? She danced naked for the camera, talked suggestively. How does this relate to Hudson Moore's death? When I got back to New York, I tried to get the tape back. I didn't want my parents to see it. They're, uh, they're real proud Irish Catholic, you know. Cole called Chris Drake about a hundred times, but no one from BBB responded, so she started looking for him herself at bars, parties. After two weeks, she tracked him down at Catalyst, asked him for the tape back in person. What did he say? Sure. For ten grand. But I could only come up with, like, nine hundred. Tell us about the night of the murder. I crashed his party, and I gave him the $900. But he said, no way, the price is 10 grand. Unless I had sex with him. And you agree? Yeah. So we left the bar and went back to his stupid party bus. What happened on the bus? I started undressing. He started kissing me, and I couldn't stand it. He's just so disgusting. So I told him to stop, but he kept going, and I tried to push him away, but he pinned me down. Did you have intercourse? Yeah. And then what happened? He told me that he wasn't finished. That for ten grand, I had to stay put for another hour. And then he left. And a few minutes later, Hudson walked in. He started touching me, and... I told him to stop. But he wouldn't. He said that Chris said it was okay. And he undid his pants and I grabbed a champagne bottle and I hit him in the head. <laughs> 